as well today, but your family remains your family. A man should be prayerful okay. and be vigilant. We need to have a society where people would, would cheer people up when they are doing things. Divorce is not the option. You should always have it at the back of your mind that you are you are the daughter of Zion. You are um, you are royal. Yeah. I, I I I wouldn't see a royal dressed anyhow. Remember, you married the person's weaknesses. Mm. You married her strongholds. Mm. You married her gatekeepers. My is about is about compromise. Yeah. So if you cannot compromise, then you know that it's not going to work. You go away. You can work on your temperament. You may not be able to change your temperament completely, okay. but you can work on it. When you are married and you want to take decisions, you must consider the other partner. Marriage is very, very important. But the question is after marriage, how do you remain attractive to your partner? And also, when we talk about the women, how do you remain attractive to your partner during pregnancy and after childbirth? We are bringing you all the answers right here on the PV show's Moments of Truth. We will be joined by Mrs. Sabina Dankwa to take us through this section. So don't go away. Hello, you are welcome to this week's episode of the PV Show's Moments of Truth. So on this week's episode, we are taking a look at the marriage segment where we'll be tackling the topic, how to look attractive or remain attractive to your spouse after years of marriage and childbirth. When we, are, when we take a look at the women's angle, how do you remain attractive to your partner um, after years of pregnancy, childbirth and all that? So this week, we are privileged to be with Mrs. Sabaina Dankwa, and she is going to take us through this wonderful session. Mrs. Sabaina Dankwa, you're welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us once again. My the pleasure. last time was really, really massive. People sent in their comments, and it was a blessing to many. The pleasure so, is strictly mine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, so we'll go straight to our topic. Um, why should we even consider this particular topic um, remaining attractive or staying attractive to your spouse after years of marriage and childbirth? Yeah, yeah it's, it's very important because uh, in recent times, there are a lot of... Uh, breakages in marriages and when you go deep down sometimes you no know, the issues are not so big okay. they are just uh, uh, little little things that could be solved mm -hmm. easily or mm -hmm. little things that we could do to work on ourselves yeah. those are the things that are breaking our marriages mm -hmm. and some are also losing themselves in in their marriages yeah. so we need to discuss discuss these topics okay. so we can you know stay awoke okay. in our marriages okay all right but then um first of all what what will make what, um an individual not look attractive to her spouse or her spouse anymore as i said mm. We tend to lose ourselves. Okay. We forget about ourselves. Okay. So things that we used to do when we got married or when we started courting mm -hmm. at the first time or when we met, we don't do them anymore. Mm -hmm. Or maybe we are doing them wrongly. Okay. Or maybe we are doing it and rubbing it in, in each other's face. So there are, there are a lot of things that one may be doing mm -hmm. or not doing okay. that will make your husband or your wife lose interest in you. Okay. All right. But then can you um, give us some specific areas you think we are lacking uh, when it comes to staying attractive to our partners? Okay. So when it comes to staying attractive, most mm -hmm. of the times people look at the outward appearance, mm -hmm. only the physical aspect mm -hmm. of being attractive. Okay. But I want to look at it from different angles. Mm. Yes, we'll talk about the physical aspect okay. of your appearance and all, but mm. as I said earlier on, you should do what you were doing okay. when you first met. Okay. You put in your best okay. into the relationship. Mm. So first of all, you should make your spouse a priority. Okay. You know when children come, so that, that's that's the first mm. one. Mm. 
when children come, when children children come into the into the relationship or the marriage, the wife especially is tempted to shift all the attention onto the husband. Mm. So the husband gets a leftover of attention and time. Mm. Yes. That in that area is really um, destroying certain marriages. Okay. The men may not talk about it, but it hurts them. Mm. When the man needs your attention, you're always with your child. Mm. Sometimes the child the children may grow up to a certain stage that it's not every cry that a child makes that you run to the child. Okay. Yeah. You need to sometimes leave them to themselves to sort out things for themselves. Okay. You don't always have to be running to the child, always running, 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 leaving your husband's um, needs unattended to. Okay. Now, the second thing I would like to talk about is you need to be attractive in, 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 in um, how do I say Intelli in intelligence. Okay. Yeah, you need to be in intelligence. Okay. You know, um, Intelligent women are very, very attractive. Mm. And in being, being intelligent doesn't mean you're going to rub shoulders with your husband. Okay. okay? okay. But you need to update your knowledge. Mm. You need to read. Mm. You need to know what's going on around your world. Okay. And that way, you'll be able to make meaningful um, inputs okay. in decision making mm. in the house. Okay. In, in the home, I prefer I prefer that mm -hmm. you make the, the, the meaningful decisions in the home. So as I said, read, read, read. You can also attend conferences to update yourself. Yes. yes. Um, so that's 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 that aspect. Now, okay. we we'll also look at um, economic aspects. Mm. Yes. Women must be attractive when it comes to economic aspect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody will say, I am not working. Mm -hmm. So how do I become economic, okay. economically attractive? Mm -hmm. Yes, you are not working. But the money your husband gives you, how yeah. do you manage it? Mm. Are, you, are you a waster? Do you waste money? Do you spend any how? You know, men, men generally want a woman who can manage their affairs. Mm -hmm. the, I had, I had a, a friend who, who was in one relationship. And this lady was always spending, 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 spending. And at the end, he got she got somebody else who was ready to give her more than hmm. this particular one. And uh, she left. Whoa. God be so good. He he got somebody else who will manage every person wow. of her. And she and he's he's so happy. So happy. And he will go all out for, 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 her, for his wife. That's what we call being economically. Attractive. It doesn't mean yeah. that you are, you are just, you are also working mm -hmm. and you are contributing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you are contributing as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a wife, if you are working, how much of, say, uh, GDP okay. <laughs> do you contribute to, the, to, the, to their home? Okay. There are those who say everything is my husband's responsibility. Mm -hmm. So, whether we are dying or what, it's my husband. Mm -hmm. No, you won't be attracted. Mm -hmm. If he gets somebody who will spend little on him, he's gone. Okay. And uh, we also look at um, emotions. Mm -hmm. How attractive are you okay. emotionally? How do you speak? Mm. With your husband, mm. your choice of words. Bible says that a soft answer turns away what wow. wrath. And Bible also says that uh, our, our speech should be seasoned with what grace. Mm. Yes. If even if your husband is at fault, how do you say it? Mm. How do you say it? How do you, do you respect your husband? Mm. Do you admire him? Do you care for him? You should show affection for your husband in that way. There's no way your husband will not, you will not look attractive hmm. for your husband. Unless, wow. of course, the person has a peculiar mm -hmm. problem. Okay. Yes, or maybe it's a womanizer that cannot mm -hmm. stay with mm -hmm. one woman okay. as it's supposed to be. Okay. Now we we'll look at um, uh, social. Okay. Now socially, how, how, how are you in, in the house mm -hmm. and out of the house? Mm -hmm. When you go out, is your husband in front like... So meters mm -hmm. away, and you yeah. are at the back. Mm -hmm. Who no even knows if 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 nobody knows you, are they? Are you husband yeah. or and wife? Yeah. No, you should 
you should be the type of woman that when your husband goes out with you, he's very confident. Your husband should be very confident in you when he's out there with you because of the way you carry yourself, mm. the way you speak, mm. the way you even eat mm. in public. So your social life can also make your husband, you know, get glued to you. Okay. Now, when we come to physical, it looks like I'm even saying everything. No, <laughs> I mean, I'm that's, saying that's all, cool. everything. Now, I want to talk about spiritual aspect mm. first. Okay. 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 Pursue when you pursue Christ, mm -hmm. okay. When you pursue Christ, uh, your life becomes a product of the fruit of the spirit. Okay. Who doesn't want joy yeah. in, in the wife? Who doesn't want a meek wife? Who doesn't want a humble, a loving? I mean, yeah. somebody who is patient and very to to uh, tolerant. tolerant. Okay, so when you pursue Christ, he makes your life beautiful, okay. and everybody likes what. Beautiful, beautiful things. things. So that should even be the very first thing as a wife. What is your relationship with Christ? Mm. Is Christ in you? Mm. If Christ is in you, it's the hope of glory. The glory around you, your, your husband cannot just ignore it. He will be all around you. Does your husband wake up at night and see you praying for him? Mm. You, you, you understand? Yeah. There are, there, are, there are a couple of times that after praying for my husband, I feel some kind of joy in mm -hmm. me. And it's as if he's being communicated with by the Spirit. He wakes up and, Charlie, the mood is something else. Is something else. <laughs> yes. Yes. We are, yeah. we, are, we are human beings, but we are spiritual beings. beings. Yes. We are spiritual beings. So we should also look at that aspect. Mm. Your spiritual life also affects your relationship okay. or, or, or how, you, how you look. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then when I come to physical, mm. now physical, mm. your appearance. Okay. Yes. There'll be changing in our bodies due to aging mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. and um, childbirth. Mm -hmm. It's acceptable okay. and it's respectful totally. Okay. Nobody is, 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 is um, refuting that. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But... Hey, you need to look good. Exactly. Especially when your children are a bit older and yeah. they can take care of themselves. Have the me time. Mm. Take care of yourself. Mm. Dress for your husband. Sometimes ask him to choose what you want. You to wear. want what what do you want me to wear? Okay. How do you want my hair to be? Smell good. Mm. Take care of your genitals. Mm. You know? Mm. It's, 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 yeah, it's very important because when, when you don't smell good, you put your husband off. Mm. You put your wife off. Mm. Sometimes, most of the time, they, they, they say, we, the women, we are this, we are that. But hey, some men smell. That's true. Some men <laughs> smell. Okay. Well, if you're like that, yeah. your husband, your wife will be hovering around a guy who is always smelling nice. Yeah. And if you're not careful... Jealousy will, 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 will get inside. Yeah. So, personal hygiene mm. is very, very important. Mm. Now, if you don't have any physic, any um, medical challenges, yeah. take care of yourself. Okay. Exercise okay. and be in good shape mm. for your husband. Your okay. choice of colors should, mm. should, should, you know. Yeah. Should Sometimes be, should people be are wearing off colors here and there. They don't yes. really mind. It is, not, it is not a sign of holiness. <laughs> Yes, it is not a sign of holiness that you always wearing off of colors. Of colors, you are you are shabbily dressed. Yeah. No, you see the how the Bible describes the bride of yeah. Christ. Yeah, you, you see how the Bible describes yeah. the, the the bride of Christ is so glorious. Mm -hmm. So hey, we are the bride. Yeah. Waiting for Christ's appearance. Mm -hmm. And our husbands, the heads of our husbands is Christ. Mm -hmm. And our heads are our husbands. Hey, bride. I will continually be a bride to my husband. Mm -hmm. No, it has not ended. Oh, yeah? Mm -mm. <laughs> it has not ended. Oh. So I'm continually going to, you know, adorn myself. Yeah. Okay? Adorn yourself. Feel good. Be confident in yourself. Because, see... When you are shabbily dressed, sometimes mm. you know. Yeah. Unless, of course, 
you've killed your conscience. Mm. It doesn't mean you should be showing off. off. No. Okay. It doesn't mean you should be showing off. But mm. dress uh, occasion appropriate. Okay. Okay. Your dressing okay. should be occasion appropriate. appropriate. Okay. If you are going to the market, the way you dress should be different from if you are going to your child's PTA meeting. Yeah. You understand? Mm. If you are going to your family house with your in with, to meet your in laws, in -laws. the way you, you, you carry yourself, yeah. the way you appear yeah. should be different from the, the way you dress when you want to go to the beach with your husband. Right. You won't go to the beach with your husband in slate and cover. No. <laughs> you, you understand. Oh, some people can do that. Yes, know? yes, yes. But yeah. but see, it's 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 off. Yeah. It's off it's off the Hmm. I, I don't know how to put yeah. it. I don't know how to put it. So there are there are so many areas. Okay. And one of the areas we can also look at is showing interest in your husband's um, in the things your husband is interested in. Okay. For instance, your husband is is into a project. Hmm. He comes home. I mean, sometimes some of the men may want to handle it all alone yeah. because you know men ego yeah yes yeah, yeah. but you should chip in oh honey how is your project going mm. get interested okay and give meaningful advice okay. and as i said earlier on if you don't update your knowledge mm. in certain areas yeah. you can't give meaningful contrib contribution mm. be interested okay. interested in what your your husband okay. your wife likes okay make inputs okay yes okay all right now we've it's like um we've tackled um the topic um in an angle for women now let's take a look at the men <laughs> what will make a man not look attractive to his partner i mean to his wife you know Always we are like the ladies, women, adorn yourself with beauty, look beautiful and all that. But what about the men? I mean, there are so many things that some men does that can really turn you off. What areas should they consider to be able to look attractive to their wives? Well, I, I would want to say that mm. um, uh, men are totally different from women. Men. Yes, mm. the kind of things women need. Um, women want to see in a man to be attracted to them is different from what a man will want to see okay. to be attracted to a woman. Okay. So you're a wife. Mm. You're a wife. Uh, sorry, that's, yeah, that's my husband. Yeah, husband. Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a husband. But uh, I, as, as I said, there's, there's this saying that a happy wife it's a, it's a happy home. home. Okay. Yes. So, generally, for 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 men, mm. uh, I would say I would say that um, to be attractive to your wife, first of all, first of all, support system. Very important. Yes. Women like yeah. very solid support yeah. system. For me, I am attracted to my husband because he has been my priest. Mm. Okay, he's my priest. He provides for me. He, he, okay. So I, in general, I'm saying that yeah, yeah. some, some people may, may, may have different idea yeah, about it. Okay. Yeah. But men, men, you should show intelligence. Okay. Okay. You are a man. Show intelligence. Okay. When you are taking decision, what kind of decision do you take that will affect the family positively? Mm, yeah. Okay. The man should be intelligent. The man should be forthcoming with good ideas yeah. the family the man should have um a goal for the family okay. which he would discuss with me okay you know discuss with me okay. that kind of man is and it's an attractive man okay to me okay or somebody else okay the man should be an attractive man should be somebody who can handle difficulties mm. When difficulties come, mm. how does the man handle it? Okay. And when I go wrong as a wife, the man, how do you handle it? Okay. How do you talk to me? Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. A man who is always looking down on the wife, mm. there's, there's no way you'd be attractive, attractive. To, 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 to the... Oh, okay, but what about the physical aspect? You know, there are some men that 
after marriage they feel oh i am done no need it, it doesn't matter they keep the i mean their hairs and caps boxes i mean the choice anywhere shoes smelling i mean how, what how can we help them for <laughs> <laughs> well but can they look attractive to a woman i mean doing all that that depends on the kind of woman they marry. okay yes okay if you are married to a woman who really doesn't care about that, mm. hey, life goes on. Whoa. We jam all, all day long. Mm. You understand? If you marry a woman who is very organized, okay. hey, you will not look attractive. Definitely. Because you, the woman will have to be going, uh, following you and picking up your, mm -hmm. your stuff. Mm. Those are, as, so as men, support the woman in that aspect. Okay. Especially when the children are, when the children are also messing up mm -hmm, the place, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the man should be able to put his foot down and tell okay. them, no, mm -hmm. this is, this is wrong. And man's, um, a man's way of child, uh, bringing up children also is a way of making him attractive okay. to the woman. Okay. If the man doesn't have any principle, any values that mm -hmm. he's trying to inculcate in his children, mm -hmm. No, it's, okay. it's 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 a no no. Okay. It means that every everything goes. Okay. Don't be a man with who is everything goes. Okay. Dress well, in the house. Yes, it doesn't mean that in the house <laughs> you should be diplomatic mm -hmm. with your, your bottom yeah. up, <laughs> long sleeves, trousers. Yeah. No, that's not what we are saying. Okay. Look good. Okay. Okay. You can be in your t-shirt you can sometimes be in the in the your shorts and your singlets but it, it's home yeah so you can you can be relaxed okay. but when you are going out mm. look good okay if you are keeping beard mm. let it look good okay. okay some beards are very attractive yeah very very, very nice. beautiful not the kind of the ones that say um, you know yeah, everywhere. Uh, yeah, the, the, the hairs are going astray. Mm -hmm. They are eating and <laughs> it's entering. <laughs> it's entering, you know. Yeah. I, I, I don't know the kind of women who mm. kiss guys with those kind of yeah, um, hair. husbands with those hair. But yeah. some people like it like it. that. Yeah. So that's, that's what, as I said, mm. it depends on the kind of woman, sure. he or she, sure. or the kind of woman he's, he's married mm. He's married to. Okay. Then men shave mm. the mm. armpits. They don't like doing that. Yes. I mean. The genitals is very important yeah. to shave because it, it also um, I learned recently mm. from one of the one one of the YouTube channels. Okay. I don't know if you'd be okay if I if oh, I can, yeah, mention. You can mention. Yes, Bono and Bomas yeah, yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sexual hygiene. Yeah. 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 Re until recently, I didn't know that if the husband doesn't shave. It can give the, the wife infection. Whoa. Yes, you be, you may have cuts. Yeah. But, you know, most ladies will be shaving. Yeah. Yeah. And the husband yeah. really don't care, care about, about that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I learned from that. that mm. Oh, so if my husband has you shave. You can have cuts. I can have cuts during okay. sexual intercourse mm. and all that. Mm. 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 So the men should also do well okay. to keep personal hygiene. Yeah. Shave. Okay. Smell good. Mm. It's, it's, it also makes us okay. feel good around you. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So we want to go to the bedroom. Mm. Yeah. The bedroom. Let's look at the women. You know, um, in the past, I, I wasn't there, but I've come. I mean, my mom usually yeah. say, it. you know, when, when you're going to bed, where is your nightwear? And, you know, they usually show this long nightwear for us. And everywhere is fully oh, covered. Oh, kids. You, kids. <laughs> you know, those long nights. For me, I've come to understand that mm. sometimes in the night, in the wee yeah. hours, mm. the weather is cold. Okay. So, you never but know. But what about the, the married women? The idea, the married women, they had their own mm. uh, idea. Idea, about, yeah. yeah. But for the kids, mm. I have come to understand that. <laughs> well, after giving birth, I realized that, okay, so in the wee hours, the weather is a bit cold. Cold. So... You need, the, yeah. you know, the whole I armor know. of God <laughs> to, to, be, to be protecting your children sure, in sure. the night. But for the marriage. married women, mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I can't, I can't talk for them mm -hmm. at this moment. Okay. Yes. Okay. But but is it okay to go? I mean, you are married to go to bed with cloth and that, and the nightwear is on top. No, no. Okay. Relax. 
<laughs> you need to relax because okay. on the attractiveness, no, mm. some okay. some in that area too is very very yeah. important. Yeah. If you are not careful, you always be putting your husband off. Mm. Mm. You always be putting your wife off. Yeah. What do you wear to bed? Mm. I mean, how do you carry yourself? I mean, we are. To, I mean, this is the moment of truth, though. Yes. So we are saying it just yes. as it is. I mean, say it just Please, as it is. Don't, don't I'm not pushing you. <laughs> don't give me problem. I've realized that you are trying to like. <laughs> Well, please, it's the moment of truth right here on the PV show. Yes. So yeah. Yes. So, as I said, look good. Okay. Even in the bedroom. Okay. Okay, smell good, mm. even in the bedroom. Mm. Don't leave the kitchen straight to the bed. bed. Okay. No, okay. it's not right. Mm. You put your husband off. Mm. Okay. okay, man, don't move from outside straight to bed. Okay, you go round, round, greet that people with all the sweat. You won't bow, you just remove your dress, dump and it, and then straight bed. into the bed. Mm. No, keep good oral hygiene. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oral hygiene, yeah, very, important. very, 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 very mm. necessary. Because hey, it's 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 one of the it's one of the orders that you you you, you it's it's very difficult to talk about. Mm. So we no bomb. Oh, oh my it's, goodness! It's very it's for me. For me, I can mm, tell it's my very husband. Offensive. Yes, yeah. it's very offensive. Yeah. I can tell my husband. Oh, honey, I say and your breath in mm you. -hmm. That's because I have realized. Okay. So you should also be each other's keeper okay. in that regard. Okay. So that your husband or wife doesn't go out with a bad breath. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. So in the bedroom, keep mm. good hygiene. Mm. I mean, smell good, as I said. Yeah. You should be having some small, small scented mm -hmm. oils or something. Mm -hmm. Bath. Bath. Take a good bath. Okay. Take warm bath. I think when you when you take warm bath, your pores are open. You're able to sleep well. Okay. Yes, you're okay. able to Cold bath closes your pores. Mm. Uh -huh. okay. So take warm bath, especially okay. when you are tired, yeah. and sleep. And when you are going to sleep, don't do uh, if anything. <laughs> bumper to bumper. <laughs> what is that one? <laughs> you're, you're facing this way. Oh, and the one, and is, the one so, is facing okay. the other side. Okay. Your bed should be always neatly laid. Okay. Yes. Very important. It's, it's also, yeah. you know, men, men can be... Um, how, 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 how do I even put this? It, it's, it's the little, little things. Things that turns them off. Yes. Mm. It's the little, little things it, that turns them off and, and on. on. Okay. Your husband can enter your room and, hey, the well, place is well arranged. Mm -hmm. Your bed is neatly laid. Yeah. Everything is hanging well. Yeah. The moment you enter, the idea drops in. Yeah. It drops in their head. Comes to the heart, yeah. then down to the waistline. Yeah. And yeah. Trouble. <laughs> yeah, understand. Wow. So you need to you need to keep your bedrooms well. Mm. As far as the two of you are in bed, mm. you should wind you should wind up nicely, okay. neatly. Okay. In, in a very fine way before okay. you sleep. Okay. You pray together. Mm -hmm. Very important. You talk about you do a few concern here and there. <laughs> Oh, Jalina, today cry yeah, this. Today, you know, you should, a little, awesome. a little chit chatting, okay. a little cuddling, okay. a little play, okay. a little putting of head on shoulder, mm -hmm. a little holding of breath, a little rubbing of thighs. Yeah. Even if you don't have, you don't make love, okay. you will sleep soundly in okay. each other's arms. Yeah. Okay. okay. So the bedroom is also it's it's. Okay. it's we have some questions here from our audience, and one of the questions is. In staying attractive to your spouse, is it good to develop your sense of humor? Yes. If you be a whole choir. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. A sense of humor is, mm. is very, very important. Okay. Other than that, the house will be so dull. Boring. Very, very boring. Mm -hmm. No laughter. No smiles. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's going to be nice. Okay. So, for instance... If your husband is, is a very quiet type and doesn't talk much, okay. once a while, just throw in a joke. Mm. You okay. know, just throw in a joke okay. and make him laugh. Okay. And you yourself, if you're not the laughter type, mm. you don't smile, yeah. practice how to laugh at somebody's joke. Okay. You understand? 
practice how to smile, smile or, laugh or laugh at somebody's joke. Yes. Mm. Relax. Okay. Relax, relax your nerves. Mm. When something is funny, laugh. Okay. Don't be all too diplomatic and when somebody makes a joke. Know I mean. When somebody makes a joke or says something that is funny, and you are like <laughs> <laughs> I know, mm. right? Well, there are some people like that. They yeah. don't laugh at jokes. Yeah. Yes. But the thing is funny. It's funny. Somebody, and somebody is laughing, rolling on the floor. You need to laugh out laugh. Some. You need to laugh because yeah. laughter, at least, it gives you some ease. Yeah. It releases tension. Yeah. Okay. Sense of, in fact, humor. Humor, so. humor diffuses tension at home. Okay. There are some jokes that we shared years Long back. Years back today, I remember I just say it and then we laugh. Wow. Okay, it makes the marriage beautiful. Yeah. If your husband shares a very nice joke and you don't laugh, mm. ah, I think, sister, I think. Just smile. You know, yeah. So okay. you need to smile okay. and laugh. Okay. Learn, okay. learn to smile, smile and, laugh. and laugh at okay. jokes. Okay. All right, we have another question here. Um, what are some of the things to do? or practice in order to stay attractive to your spouse? As I have said already, mm. update your knowledge. Okay. Okay? Okay. Spiritually, mm. update yourself. Okay. Upgrade yourself spiritually yeah. as, as well. Pursue Christ. Mm. Pursue Christ. Okay. Galatians, um, Galatians 5, 22 to 23, just okay. the, the fruit of the Spirit. Mm. When you have those ones, okay, you are you you are loving, okay. unconditional. You are meek, you are humble, you are temperate. I mean, who which husband would, would wouldn't temperate. love a husband a wife like that? Mm. So your whole life become a produce of Christ living in you. Okay, okay? okay. and as I have said, socially mm. play with your husband. Okay. Play, play. I mean, Very play important. and support support each other. Okay. Get interested in each other's uh, field, okay. either of work mm -hmm. or project or anything. I mean, watch movies together. Okay. 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 When your if your husband is the football freak like my mm. my mine, <laughs> sit with him. Even if you don't like. Even if you don't oh like. Oh my. Sit with him okay. and watch. Okay. And watch together, mm -hmm. so that if you, if you don't understand something about, maybe there's a free kick and mm -hmm. you don't understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What it means, what free kick means. You mm. can ask him. Okay. And he will tell you. Okay. Okay, and they say it's offside. What makes this offside? Mm. Oh, so he, he this person crossed the line before the open ends, you know? Oh. So okay. you discuss. Even when he's watching, you can discuss okay. together. Okay. 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 He can also join you okay. to watch. And whilst you are watching, anything can happen. Yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? Your legs are yeah. on, on him. Okay. Your, your, Play, as I okay. said, play. Okay. Get interested in each other. Respect okay. your each husband. Okay. Respect each other. Okay. Don't just talk anyhow hmm. to your husband. Okay. Okay. Maybe he has done something in the past. Forgive. Okay. Forgive. Okay. A husband will be very attracted to a forgiven wife. Hmm. Who will not come 10 years time and remind him, do you remember what you did the last time? Mm. Even if it is two years mm. or say five five months mm. and the person made a mistake mm. in the first month of yeah. him, you don't go reminding the person that, mm. eh, and I don't know, sir, we are now, yeah, yeah. and this is where it ended us. When your husband make, makes a mistake and he breaks pressure to, to the house, try to soak the pressure with your husband. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Soak the pressure with him. Okay. And you guys should be fine. All right. All right. Thank you so much. We are really grateful. But before we leave, your final words. So, my final words to my fellow women, both old and old, don't lose yourself in the marriage. Keep doing what you were doing when you first met. Maybe because of age or childbirth, there are some of them that you cannot do. But as much as possible, keep your game up. Up your game and stay confident in your marriage. Thank you.
Thank you very much for joining us. We are really, really grateful. All right, so thank you very much for joining us on this week's episode of the PV show, Moments of Truth. It's the moment of truth coming your way this and every Sunday right here on the PV show. We say it just as it is. We don't subtract anything from it. We say it and it's the realities on the ground. Yes, so if you are joining us for the first time, remember to click on the subscription button to subscribe to the PV show. And so we come back your way same time next week. Remember to wash your hands with soap and the running water. Use your hand sanitizers. Make sure you wear your nose mask and stay safe. We'll be back same time next week. Bye. Bye.